Hey guys, this is MegaMonkeys, and uh, I'm going to show you how to properly apply realistic textures or materials to uh, text objects in Cinema 4D. So let's go and make a text object under the MoGraph. And uh, so we're going to make a new material by double clicking. And uh, under texture, we're going to load an image. And uh, let's find one of these. With this one, uh, go yes. And so we have our texture there. Um, and we'll just drag it on to the text object. And um, here, let me just add some depth so it's easier to see. Um, and I just want to make this easier, guys, to see. Uh, all right, there we go. So now if I render this, you'll see that the... Um, that the front here is just a normal gray texture. Like if we didn't have this, the front is still the same. But it is applied to the uh, to the side part, which is weird and really annoying. And I was trying to figure out how to uh, fix that, and I finally figured it out. So just click on the little material thing beside your text object once it's applied, and you'll see the projection thing right here, and. Uh, for me, it's set to UVW mapping by default, and uh, the best one for me, I find, you should play with all of them, see which one works best for what you're doing, but usually I find the spatial works the best, and my computer is messing up. That's wonderful right now. Okay. Um, oh, just what I like. I hate Windows Basic. Oh, well, okay. So UVW mapping to spatial. Then we'll render that, and there we go. It's on the front. But another problem you can see is that there's like the edges of the image we use is the texture. You can see those, and we don't want that. So we'll click on the material again, and click seamless, and I'll have seamless transitions through um, throughout your whole object. So we'll render that now, and now it's nice and smooth. Uh, so yeah, just play with the projection and set to seamless, and uh, it should work out for you. I hope you enjoyed, and maybe you already knew that, but if not, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.